I have lived an honorable life, and I am proud of my life. I think all of us think about death, but I think more about life. There are so many days in my life that are more than coincidental, that it has made me believe that I am here for a reason. I've been tested on a number of occasions. I haven't always done the right thing. And I think I understand, given my family's history and given my experiences, the important thing is not to look back and figure out all the things I should have done, and there's lots of those, but to look back with gratitude. You will never talk to anyone that is as fortunate as John McCain. One, two. When I was 12 years old, I found a four-leaf clover. I went to my father's library to put that four-leaf clover in a book. I started reading that book, and I was mesmerized. And I didn't stop reading until I was finished. It is still the lodestone, the guide that I have, and it's called For Whom the Bell Tolls. If you want to really know him, his favorite book is For Whom the Bell Tolls. And the protagonist in that, Robert Jordan, goes to fight in the Spanish Civil War, and he knows that it's a hopeless cause, and yet he gives his life for it. That's a very McCain-esque view of himself in the world. Nothing is better than the story of someone who sacrifices for causes greater than themselves. And Robert Jordan is still my hero. And Robert Jordan's last thoughts were, it's been a great life and well worth fighting for.